We're proposing two changes to provide adequate toilet facilities for women in some entertainment venues. They are to increase the number of female toilets in specified venues and to require sanitary product dispensers be installed in female toilet facilities. There are often long queues for female toilet facilities in single auditorium theatres and cinemas. Research shows that during peak times, such as before a show and at intermission, females have a queuing time of up to 14 minutes. This affects users who may find it difficult to wait, such as young children, pregnant people and the elderly. It also affects the ability of those using the toilet facilities and their companions to engage in other activities during peak times. In developing these changes, we consulted with the Commonwealth Office for Women and members of our peak technical committees, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC, and the Plumbing Code Committee, or PCC. The first change proposes to increase the ratio of female toilets compared to male toilets in single auditorium theatres and cinemas, which are Class 9B buildings. The current average of 1.25 female toilets for every one male toilet will increase to 1.8. This ratio involves a redistribution of existing requirements for male toilets to female toilets. This will produce more equitable queuing times compared with the current ratio. In addition, building ministers asked us to investigate how the NCC could require commercial buildings to provide female sanitary products. Changing subclause F4D46 to provide for both sanitary product dispensers and product disposal is considered the simplest solution within the scope of the NCC. These changes will provide greater equity, resulting in reduced queuing times for people using female toilet facilities at venues having single auditoriums and cinemas. This will result in faster access to a toilet facility and reduces accessibility concerns. It will also allow females and accompanied children and their companions more time to socialise or buy food, beverages and merchandise during peak use times. In addition, requiring female sanitary dispensers will result in improved accessibility and support for menstrual hygiene management in public spaces, promoting inclusivity and ensuring the well-being of all the building users. The overall impact will be a high net benefit for patrons of all sizes of single auditorium theatres and cinemas with minimal implementation costs for developers. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1st May to 1st July 2024. We look forward to your input.